So, everyone says that Windows 11 looks too much like Apple. I don't really think it does, but today I'm going to show you how to make it look exactly like an Apple. Not sure why you'd want to, but stay tuned. Ever since the first beta of Windows 11 was released, one of the complaints has been that it looks too much like an Apple. But you know, as someone who works on both Apple and PC, I don't see it. I mean, I guess there could be some similarities, but not enough for me to come to the conclusion that Windows 11 is an Apple clone. However, with that said, I have heard people say that transitioning from Apple to PC is easier on Windows 11, so maybe there's something to it. Either way, you guys said that you wanted to see more videos about customizing Windows, so I figured I would take that as an opportunity to just make Windows 11 really look like an Apple. So that's what we're doing today. So without further ado, let's get to it. So here we are with Windows 11 configured as close to the default theme as possible. I use the dark theme instead of the light theme, but it's pretty close to the way Windows 11 comes out of the box. Now to start out with, in order to do this, we're gonna need a couple of programs. Now, the first program is one that we're gonna use to mimic the top bar that's on an Apple computer, because obviously without the top bar, you really can't say it's an Apple, so we're gonna need to make that top bar. So to do that, we're gonna need a program called RainMeter. RainMeter is an open open source program that allows you to apply different customized skins to your desktop for all different kinds of functions. And what we're using it for is we're gonna use it to give us our top bar for the OSX style look. So the first thing we're gonna to have to do is go ahead and download this program. And once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and open it up in the folder. And then from here, we just need to set it up. So let's go ahead and set it up now. I'm gonna go ahead and do standard installation. We're gonna hit next. I essentially am leaving all of these settings as default. Then as soon as you hit finish, it should run the program. And there we go. We've got these basic little usage statistics and stuff like that. This is just the default theme that comes with this program. Now the first thing you gotta do is go ahead and just right click on this stuff and hit unload skin. We don't need any of this stuff. However, if you want it, you can go ahead and keep it but I'm gonna go ahead and unload it all right now because we're not interested in any of this. The next thing we're gonna need is we need to go ahead and jump over to GitHub and there's a really cool theme for RainMeter here called Desktop 4. And this will give us our toolbar that goes across the top of the screen. So we're gonna click on latest and then from there, just go ahead and click on one of these links right here to download. And then once you click that, it should start downloading the skin here. And once it finishes downloading, we can go ahead and show it in the folder. It's right here. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and minimize the window here. We're gonna go ahead and double click on this. And we're gonna go ahead and install Desktop 4. So once you hit this screen, we're gonna click Install. And here we go. I'm gonna minimize this in the background so we can concentrate on just this installation program. So from here, we're gonna hit Continue. And then we wanna pick our language. We're gonna go English, hit continue again. And then from here, we can choose the way that this program interacts with our system. We can have it always show the drop top. The drop top. drop top will reserve a portion of your screen space and it'll always be visible to access on the top of your screen. Now, if you use this one right here, when you maximize a program, it's always gonna be on the top. And that's actually gonna mimic the way that Apple does it. And then we also have auto hide, which this will cause it to hide unless you run your mouse up to the top to use it. And then also you can do desktop only where you can only see the menu when the desktop is visible. Now you can go ahead and set it up any way you want. I'm gonna go ahead and click mine desktop only because I think that would fit my use the best, but you choose whichever one you want. If you wanna have the one that's the most authentic to an Apple computer, it would probably be this first one right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and click desktop only. And then from there, it wants you to set up your Google account information. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, and I'm not going to. I'm also not gonna put in my location. And we're gonna hit continue. And then from there, you wanna pick your home button itself. If you want, you can use the Apple logo because you're trying to make an Apple clone, right? So we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Apple logo right there. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna use the old Apple logo. And then from there, we wanna pick the size of the drop-down bar. So either small, medium, or large. I'm gonna go ahead and pick small and then hit continue. And then from here, you get to choose a color option. You can either have it default where the color just 
uses default colors, or you can have it color match where it gives it kind of a translucency. Personally, I think this one looks the best, so that's the one I'm gonna click. And then from here, you can opt to get a paid version of this program that'll give you a little bit more features, but it's completely up to you. If you like the program, it might be a good idea to donate something to the developer, but that's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and click maybe later for me. And then from here, we can click finish setup. And then go ahead and allow access. And as you can see, now we have our top bar. And that's the first step to making this computer look similar to an Apple. So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and hit skip tutorial. And then I wanna go up to our little Apple logo or our home logo here, go to drop top settings, go to themes, and we might as well pick Big Sur since you know we're trying to make this look like an Apple. So we're gonna apply this theme. And there we go. That's about as Apple looking as we can get a top bar. So that's the first step of making our Windows 11 look like an Apple computer. But it's more than just the top bar that we need to change. We're going to have to do something about that taskbar. So let's get back to it and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so as you can see, this taskbar looks nothing like an Apple. It's definitely Windows-ish, even though it is centered. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and jump back online, and we're gonna go back to GitHub, and we're gonna get a program called Taskbar XI. And this should give us a, an Apple, kind of an Apple-looking taskbar. Let me show you how to do it. So we're gonna scroll down, go to Releases, click on Latest. And then from there, we wanna download both of these files, the tax, taskbar XIEXE and the taskbar XIMFCGUI. This is the actual program, the GUI program you can use in order to manipulate this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on both of these programs here. And once they're downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and show them in folder. And these are the two that we need right here. So I'm gonna highlight both of those two right there and I'm gonna copy those. And like with other programs, what we need to do is go to our C drive. I still have the folder that we've had from doing our fan control and open RGB that we did before, but this program doesn't actually install like a regular program. We have to create a folder for it and move it somewhere. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and open a, create a folder right here. So we're gonna hit new folder and I'm gonna write taskbar XI. And then from there, we're gonna open that up and paste the files that we just copied from the downloads folder. And then from there, we can go ahead and minimize what we have open. And we wanna go ahead and click on the GUI program right here. And go ahead and click more info and run anyway. And then this is the program that we're left with. It gives us a ton of different options and you can play around with some of these options if you want. But ultimately, if we hit apply, Go ahead and watch the bottom taskbar as I hit apply, and you'll see it essentially cuts it into just a center-mounted taskbar that clears out everything that's essentially not used. However, we still have all of this stuff on the corner, and that doesn't look like an apple, so we need to get rid of that. So there's a couple things we can do. We can also we can hit no tray and hide tray area here, and then if we hit apply, it completely eliminates the tray. However, we lost everything in the tray too. And I kind of like some of that stuff, even though some of it is available up here in our top bar. So what I like to do is I like to uncheck these and just write sticky. And then if you hit apply, what it does is it moves all of that from the side over to the center of the taskbar right here. So it gives you more of a centered taskbar with all of the information that you want inside of it. But one of the things that it does, it's a little annoying, is it does remove the tray icon. But unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about that, but you can come up top right here. And if you see these three little dots, you can click there and that's where your tray icon's at. So you can still get your tray icon stuff if you have the top bar available. And then the next thing that I would do is right here, the setting that says ignore max. If you, if you look here, I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this folder. And when you maximize this folder, you'll notice the taskbar reappear down at the bottom right here. And if you don't want that to happen, what you can do is go ahead and click on ignore max and then hit apply. And now when I go and maximize, you'll notice that it ignores the taskbar. So it still keeps a center mounted taskbar. And also you'll notice if you move something in the way of the taskbar, you can see the thing underneath the taskbar. So it, it actually is a nice effect. It makes it look a lot like the way that Apple does it on their systems. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close this. It will run at startup. So once you close this right here, you have a desktop that looks 
kind of like a Mac. So it definitely looks more like a Mac now, but I think there's one more detail that we could do that make it look even closer to the way an Apple should look. So let's take a look. Okay, so this right here is definitely personal preference, but this is a Windows background. Everybody knows this is the Windows 11 background, so it kind of gives away the illusion that we're supposed to be making this look like an Apple. So the last step is change the desktop background. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and go into personalize. And from there, we're gonna go into background and I'm gonna choose this one that I picked out earlier. And once I click on that, it should give me a more Mac looking background. And if you look at that, if you like this picture, this picture is actually taken by Peter McKinnon. Go ahead and search for him online and you'll find a lot of the pictures he takes. He takes a lot of outdoors pictures that look really nice. That's where I found this one right here. So there you go. Now you can really say that Windows 11 looks like OS X. I just don't know why you'd want to, but you know, to each their own. However, the programs we use today can be used to highly customize Windows 11. You know, for instance, there's tons of different themes available for Rain Meter. I highly recommend taking a look at them. Also, if you're a Linux user, you might notice the similarities to some of the themes made for Rainmaker to Conky. I may do a more in-depth video on this in the future. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see that. But you know what, in regards to Taskbar XI, this program hasn't been updated since January of this year, and it definitely has some bugs. However, it does give a really cool look to the Windows 11 Taskbar. I think it looks a lot more modern, but I don't see myself running it on a full-time basis. There's just too many bugs that I experienced when I was playing around with it. But with all that said, personally, I don't even like the look of Apple's desktop. So this whole system right here is going back to default as soon as this video is over. However, I am gonna do more videos on customizing Windows, and I've even created a new playlist that's gonna be right here. So if you wanna watch them, just go ahead and click there and you'll be able to check them out. Have a great day.